I love getting packages from China. Oh, some nice test leads with banana clips. Now I remember ordering these. Oh yeah, these. These aren't bad. I'll put a link in the description. Yeah, you know, they would be what you would get with your... Not a meter like that, but a meter like that. So, very reasonable um, for hobbyist use, I would say. What else? Mm, speed controllers. Excellent. That's so we can uh, continue working on the, um, the disk drive. The disk drive motors, the big honking motors. So, yeah, good. A Simon K 20 amp. So, um, a lot of current can flow through these things. Now, next package. Oh, more test leads. Oh, yes, and the servos. <laughs> These don't feel like bad servos either. So, what is this? What did I order? The Emacs. Oh, it's probably an Emacs knockoff, actually. Um, 08MA. Yes, 08MA. Um, nine millimeter servo, I think. I don't know. Um, link in the description. But anyways, yeah. Um, it actually feels pretty solid. Uh, it's not too bad at all uh, from a construction perspective. I'm not going to tear it apart. I'm sure there's thousands of people who have torn these apart. Um, I needed some desoldering wick. Um, I wanted some that I ended up making of banana to, uh, to Caesar jumpers. These aren't as good as the other once these have a nice softer, I doubt it's silicone, but it's not the same um, and a little bit beefier in diameter. But uh, yeah, serviceable. Anyways, yeah, great. I'm glad the service have come because uh, now I can start playing with them and uh, what, rebuilding. Oh, it's buried up there somewhere. Rebuilding a um, a uh, a gimbal mount for underneath a uh, a drone because. Um, uh, copy that design into something that's more um, skookum, and that will give uh, gimbal control underneath it, the drone. So this is the um, this is the uh, gimbal mount that came with that Aosema. Well, actually, I have no idea how to sell it, say it. Um, drone, and really inside of here is just a couple of um, a couple of um, servo motors. Just like the, the ones that I got at the Emacs, but um, really cheap and really really cheap. Then of course there's these housings that are also pretty um, crappy. So something um, maybe machined um, or some bent, some tubing that is heat uh, bonded to a couple of discs. I don't know. I'll have to give some thought to um, how to manufacture this. But um, and then a couple of bearings in here. But it's getting over top of the bearing and through and then through the bearing and through into here. So you need to have some sort of a hollow shaft. Um, but I, I will probably tear this down again and do a, um, uh, a walkthrough of what I have, what I need to build. Like the electronics are all done. So yeah, um, another project, I don't know, might do that. Or I also want to do something about making or getting a 3D printer. So. Might have to do go tear it uh, tear away at the um, at the di or the um, inkjet printers in the garage as well this uh, weekend to see what um, what I can do with those. So yeah, inside of each of these pods is a slightly smaller gimbal, but uh, it just sits in behind there. And so you just need to make sure that you've got a way for cable to get into a bearing that goes around here. We'll see. We'll see what we can do.